Hey, what's up? So, um, seventh day on the Pacific Coast here at the Greenfields Reserve. Um, there's actually only two um, seasons in Nicaragua. That is the wet season and the dry season. The wet season pretty much coincides with the Northern Hemisphere's um, summer, so May to October-ish. Um, and on the Pacific Coast, where we are right now, it is hurricane season because we're on, we're on the Caribbean coast as well. Um, so it's hurricane season. It's supposed to be wet, very, very wet, mostly all year round anyways, but especially in September and October. It is September, I think, 17th or 18th. I'm going to take advantage of the scorching sun right now and attempt an experiment uh, of drinking my own urine. Now, a couple things before I go on. First of all, you're gonna go, hey Chan, why aren't you wearing a shirt? Remember when you said on Volcano Conception that having open, uh, open skin towards the sun is bad because it dehydrates you uber fast. Yes, completely true, but right now I have an endless supply of filtered water, which I'm filtering right now. So I'm just not wearing a shirt to look good and to get a tan mainly because I am white on the chest plate area. Um, so that's, that's number one. Number two, drinking urine, probably not a really good idea. Drinking pure urine for the sake of just drinking it, not when you're thirsty, but just for drinking it. Okay, sure. I mean, a lot of cultures actually do it and have done it for the last thousand years for cosmetic reasons, for skin therapy, for hmm, weird, kinky, other reasons, whatever the case, people do urine things, whatever. Um, drinking urine because you're dehydrated, not a good thing. Um, first of all, drinking urine if you're dehydrated, well, if you're really dehydrated, you're not gonna be urinating that much anyways. And if you do, it's gonna be really yellow, concentrated urine. And in that urine, it's gonna have a lot of heavy metals, pneumonia, um, formaldehyde, all that kind of, ick, and salt, and all that kind of icky, toxic substances that if you drink again, is going to have adverse effects. It's gonna be totally the flip side of what you want it to be, and that is to hydrate yourself. And um, much like drinking salt water, it's gonna give you dementia and make you go crazy. Uh, all you need is 2% salt in your water, and um, that's salt water, that's pee, and that's gonna mess your brain up in your equilibrium. I think I'm getting bitten by ants on my butt, but that's okay. I'm wearing pants, just so you know. Pants! Um, so I'm gonna try this experiment that um, hopefully it will work. And I'm still gonna drink my own pee, but I'm going to distill, or I'm gonna purify my own pee. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm gonna pee in one of these bottles. And I'm gonna pee to hopefully here-ish so it doesn't leak, and it's, I'm gonna lie it flat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these bottles up and stick these together without getting the pee in this bottle firsthand. I'm going to set this on the ground cover this with uh, leaves or something. So this is covered from the sun, protected from the sun, and this is exposed to the sun. And what's gonna happen is hopefully the condensation is gonna rise and go to the other side of the bottle, in which in a couple hours, I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, I'm going to take this apart. This is gonna be the highly, highly, highly concentrated hard, um, hard crap, hard pee, um, and minerals. No, not even minerals, terrible stuff. This is going to be, hopefully, the pure water, and then I'm going to drink it. That is how I'm gonna drink pee. This whole concept wouldn't really be um, ideal or smart to do in an actual wilderness setting, I'm gonna say, because it's gonna take you a lot of time to drink that much pee. Um, I guess if you're in dire needs, it might work, but there's other options. Anyways, I'm gonna do this for an experiment. Now I'm gonna take a pee pee, and I'm gonna just turn away from the camera so you don't take a peeky poo. And I'm gonna...
Oh, that is yellow pea. Oh my. It's a lot more pea than I thought. Woo! Okay. So that is my pee. Now, take a look at how yellow it is. First of all, I take, I take minerals, uh, I take nutrient supplements every day, and this is my first pee today, so it's really highly concentrated, which will really actually prove more or less if this actually works, because you're gonna see that, well, this is hopefully gonna be clear. Flat and even, okay, I got, I got some gum that I'm gonna use, oh, to stick it all together. Hopefully stick it all together anyway. All right, all right, that worked pretty good, that worked pretty good. I shouldn't have dumped out all, all that pee, but that's okay. Now we're going to get some leaves or something to cover over it. So let's go, yeah, a bunch of leaves over here. All right, then we leave it and see what happens. Um, again, it would have been better if I had bigger bottles so I could really fill the bottle so you could really see. But I mean, if I drink that much pee, it's all good. So, as we can see, actually, uh, the bottle, whoopsie doodle, oh. The bottle actually split apart and prevented the actual uh, distilling to happen. Um, it looks a lot less uriny, but this is actually where the urine was in. Actually, oh my, I see. I think it actually did work. All the urine purified into this. That's straight up urine. This is the leftover water. Let's give it a, let's give it a taste, shall we? Okay, let's see here. A lot of bugs and stuff in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. To your health. Uh, turns out that my urine turns out that my urine when I peed in this bottle was way too concentrated and there's still pee in there 